So speaking of Melee, the reason why we would discuss it is because Rishi is actually a very well, uh, very well established Melee player. You better believe it. But he's made the transition to Ultimate and he's been able to do quite a bit. Hippo actually just going for the guaranteed just down, thro uh, down throw up B. Oh, okay. Doesn't actually... I don't know if maybe Squirrel is hard to combo at lower percents or whether that is just a drop combo on Rishi's part. If you're playing Peach, you don't want to be dropping combos. Instantly switches to Charizard to escape a combo. I'm kind of surprised about that. Is he staying Charizard? Bless your heart. Is he staying? Whoa, he's staying the big lizard boy, huh? Honestly, so I think that Charizard is underrated. But... Now, the reason he's underrated is because he actually manages to circumvent, like, one of the heavy's worst problems, which is when your opponent stops being scared of you. Because, you know, a lot of ki a lot of heavies, when your opponent stops being scared of you, then they just dance around you and can't do anything. If that Charizard's happens when like, you're Charizard... Oh, I still have buttons I can push. And also, he can just switch. That too. Uh, so basically, I think Charizard by himself is actually kind of bad, though. He lost his best tool from Smash 4. Uh, Rocks. Yeah. Rocks made him. It's I was like, trying to oh think man. Of a joke, but I couldn't. He loved that rock. He hugged it so hard, it just <laughs> exploded in his hands. But he's Ooh. running with Charizard, so I was. Oh I my god, that almost killed. They're going to cheer for Pokemon. Ah. Uh, it's so what I would say. He could have oh, Flare Blitz immediately after that and still got back to stage, I believe. Uh, no. Hitting with Flare Blitz gives you a lot of lag, so I don't think he could have made it. If he had his double jump, maybe, but. Uh, might have been a miss input. Uh, He's sticking with Charizard. I respect it, but... I mean, in that situation, I feel like he just wanted to get out of the bad spot and the invincibility I helped. guess, but he did that last time and just stayed on nice down smash. All right, yeah. I like that he kind of stepped over Daisy's down tilt there. Oh, of course we're down tilt. I mean, ah. Uh, it's so hard to, like, how do you approach the neutral in this particular matchup? And honestly, I respect the fact he's staying Charizard. Uh, I mean, I can kind of understand, even ignoring rocks, Charizard has a lot of good, like, anti-air tools. He has also, an up tilt with invincible wings. He has an up smash he can just throw out again with invincible wings. Flamethrower is good for just controlling space for a split second, things like that. But Not only that, but Charizard is a character where, you know, just the nature of being heavy, he doesn't punish you as much for messing up. Uh, at least, especially at these percents. At lower I, percents, you do eat, like, an extra 70. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, my God, that almost... Charizard's still asking to get combo to death. But, like, in this situation, it's... I'm not going to say even, but, like, there are plenty of ways that Rishi can die. I know, but my concern is why no Ivysaur? Since Ivysaur is an amazing anti-air character. He's like, oh, you're hopping around? I'm just going to throw a couple laser leaves so you stop jumping so much, you know? And not only that, Squirtle can kind of be hard to hit for Peach. Daisy. Daisy. So, I mean, it, it's sort of working. He's been keeping it relatively even. All right, and now we're going to be oh, seeing he's swinging that. with Ivysaur. Let's see what happens. Down throw, up the attempt. No luck. Yeah, and plus some good DI from, uh, is it Rishi or Rishi? No clue. And Our, it, Charizard's back. back. The return. Uh, kind of, you could tell he's getting hungry for that kill, just throwing out his bomb. He had a bomb? Yep. Oh. That, no back air attempt, huh? Yeah. Oh, there's the back air. In, like, if you notice, Rishi is aware that uh, yeah, aware that Hippo is really trying to get these smash attacks in, and he's floating at that perfect height to avoid things like the forward smash. Just basically wait for him to throw out the move, and then wow, never mind. nice that air dodge read into forward smash. Unfortunately, he's on his yeah, he's on his last leg there. But he managed to bring that down for the last stock. And I, like, Charizard did all the work Oh, my there. God, look at that smile. Daisy. Yes. Oh, we, they can't I, see I'm it. Daisy. They can't see it. Never mind. What? They can't see it? That's what they say. We can only see his face. It's beautiful. Beautiful face. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty good. All right, what's he going to counterpick, huh? Or is it the other guy who's counterpicking? I don't know my faces, so I don't know who's Rishi. I think this, that's Hippo. So that's Hippo on the screen right now. What will Hippo counterpick? Pokemon Stadium. They don't, you can't see that, ignore it. Okay. Whoa. Okay, okay. here's the thing. If you're basically just playing Charizard the entire game anyway, why not go Ridley, who's just a more well-rounded Charizard? I suppose, maybe Hippo just likes dragons. I don't blame him, I like dragons too. Ridley is not a dragon. Dude, he's a dragon, pack He's a pterosaur. 
Pterosaurs didn't have arms. <laughs> Neither do dragons. Yes, they do. Name a dragon with arms. Like all of them, including name Charizard. One. Name one. You're thinking of the wyverns that people ride in Fire Emblem. N name a single dragon. Oh my god, I can name literally any dragon. Like, <laughs> Then why is this so hard for like you? Like any of the Manakeep dragons in Fire Emblem, or mid or any of the dragons in uh, Dragalia Lost, like Midgard Sarma, or Brunhilda, or whatever. They aren't real. There's though. Salamence, Garchomp, <laughs> Hydragon. Uh, okay, Salamence does not have arms. They have four limbs. Oh, and the point is, none of them are real, so therefore... That, uh, die. What? What do you mean? No, Ridley's not real. <laughs> uh, but pterosaurs are. Oh my god. All these guys are based off dragons. <laughs> You're driving me crazy. All right. Anyway. Just so as crazy as Rishi's Daisy is driving him. You know, it seems to be doing pretty well. He's uh, doing a decent I'm, job. I'm, I'm, yeah, the, the Ridley, I mean. Without having uh, to waste time to switch to Squirtle or Ivysaur. He gets full 100% Ridley. The one thing is that Charles. Okay. Wow! Uh, all right, cool. Uh, that's the hitbox. Yep. Um, but also, I was about to say that Ridley kind of can be harder to like surprise kill people than Charizard. Like, yes, he does, of course, like forward smash and things, but like he doesn't Charizard have anything like that. I know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, like Charizard has back end. Well, Ridley has one blitz. Random smash. up smash. Even up smash doesn't kill that early. Yes, it does. Not as early as like forward smash. Okay, maybe not as forward smash, but it's still super strong. It's like it's like strong, but it's fast and gigantic. It's that's like my it's point. like a heavy up smash, you know. It's still like significantly weaker than like DK's up smash, right? Now what is Hippo gonna do here? He's All actually right. been getting away with these aggressive landings quite a bit. Um, but here comes Rish, just coming on down. He's like, I'm gonna float and land with Nair. You ain't gonna do anything about it. Aggressive landings all around. The Nair is very helpful, though. That's oh for yeah. Sure. That here is we go. Edge guard attempt. No luck. That is one thing that I. Oh, okay. Can we talk about the range on that hippo? Like, made a. There's your up smash. It, it, it just barely killed him. Yeah, but you saw how big and fast it was. Just like Ridley. <laughs> big and fast. Is Ridley fast? What is his run speed? He's so fast. Look how fast he's moving. Uh, it's it's hard to, with no reference. He moves about as fast as Charizard, and Charizard runs as fast really? as Sheik. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> In Smash that. 4, I don't know about this game. Uh, I think he might be slowed down a little bit, though. I'm not going to speak with any there of them. There we go. Oh, it's big, bo it's big body comeback time, maybe. Rishi understands that he's respecting and shielding, but against Ooh. Ridley, that's a little dangerous. Oh my god, hold up a second. Oh, wait, uh. that might not be it. Oh, you're right, it is not. And all of this momentum, even though we got hit. Whoa! That's it. Oh, <laughs> shit! Just stand at the ledge. Oh my god, Ridley is tearing her apart on the victory screen. <laughs> Send the kids out of the room. Nice DI, very nice DI. I'm just like, Rishi's gonna sh- No. <laughs> and it was untackable too. Was that untackable? Didn't you see the splat? What made it untackable in that situation? It's a lot of knockback. I guess it's- Is it a lot of knockback? I guess it's- I thought you need a lot of knockback in order to get yeah, untackable. I'm kind of surprised that was untackable. <laughs> Are we sure there isn't just some magic? All right, give me one second. I gotta check a message. Work-related things. Oh, on Discord is what I would say. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't question it. <laughs> I can see. I can see your phone. And also, I know you just a little bit. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that was actually a fantastic comeback from Hippo. I, I thought he wasn't gonna make it, and especially after that forward air, I thought he was done. But really clutch comeback. I was actually talking about how. Ridley doesn't have that sort of you just die because like you messed up and I'm at high percent. But as we see right there, it's a little bit more situational, but <laughs> hey, killing the person at 70, that's the best situation you can be in. With a command grab, no less. Oh, here comes here comes Peach combos. He's mad. Look at this is this is a mad Rishi. Well, let's see it. Let's see how Rishi's gonna clap back. I assume he's going to try to play very aggressively and actually try to intimidate Hippo and restrict his movements. Yeah, no, I think that this is exactly And so far, that's right been happening. Hippo. I, was... I Hippo was kind of. Wow. wow. That, why what did a... that drag him in? That was a beautiful stock. That's. I, you know, I was. Remember how before I said that Charizard is decent because when your opponent stops fearing you, you can switch off of him. Ridley does not have that option, and Richie is basically gone the no fear route. Whoa. Oh my god, Raw. what is he doing? Raw, wing blitz. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's Wait, he's dead. dead. 
Uh, oh, those rats. Side. And he's standing up on our side B O P. Well, well, where there's life, there's hope. So let's see what happens. Never, All right. Never mind. Oh, he's still alive. I, Ridley's not actually that heavy. How is he surviving these hits? He's hits? kind of heavy. He's he's less heavy than Samus, Back I believe. Air? Yes. Yeah! Daisy, you got to calm down with those. Oh, oh not dead God. yet. He's heavy. And listen, Rid Ridley would be heavier if he was put in the game at his actual size, okay? He shrank himself I mean, heck, down. In, in, he, in Brawl, he didn't even take knockback. He, like, got himself on a diet, lost a couple of pounds, lost a couple of inches. <laughs> Just like, oh, hey, I could be in Smash now. Oh, the Raw. He's trying some ratchet moves, but if one of them manages to hit, it'll be just what he needs, because Rishi is not exactly shielding very much, actually. Could be, could be his me inner melee talking, if you know what I mean. I mean, I do think actually that the, the Daisy is good for him in that regard. I don't know why. Daisy's that's up. Oh yes. My God. He almost ran into that. The animation, I, the charging I, animation for up smash is very ambiguous. So it's just like, wow. What you say? He has so much work to do if he wants to make this comeback. He did something kind of similar to game two. Oh, he's but trying to mix them up. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, that might not be it yet. No. Good DI keeping him alive. That's game. I don't think you can DI that one, though. Good job taking a game from him, but it's Rishi is going to be on top in the end, taking the set 2-1. Excellent show to both players, including Hippo. But good job to Rishi for winning it.